today is makar sankranti the day when the sun begins the northward journey and uttarayan is very powerful and very auspicious in fact in the bhagavad gita it is mentioned agni jyoti ah shukla shanmasa uttarayanam uttarayan is a very important term uttar means rising up and it is said that these 6 months are the period when you actually move upwards transcendental and the dakshinayan period is the period when you move up but get stuck and then eventually you have to come down again so it is a smaller circuit the uttarayan is a larger circuit the circuit once you have taken there is no returning back it is also said that bhishma pitamah who had ichha mrityu vardan he at the end of the mahabharat war he was mortally wounded but by yog bal he kept himself alive till uttarayan began and once uttarayan began then he left his body this does not mean that everybody who dies in uttarayan physically death is uh, transported to the transcendental goes beyond the cycle of samsara but it means that the path which has to be taken that path is important and that path is the path in which we actually behave differently perceive differently respond differently that is very important so this is the period which is beginning and the uttarayan kal physical uttarayan kal is the time which is auspicious for us to start making those efforts so we at ssyrf we have celebrated the uttarayan kal yesterday with a beautiful yajna and this yajna was dedicated to surya narayan first the pandits of course they had to do the initial practices and after the initial practices then they did the havan with the saura sukta saura is sukta dedicated to surya with the, and this is a sukta from the rigveda so from the rigveda they chanted the saura sukta did the havan and then the next part was the conclusion of the havan with ahuti of the surya gayatri which we have been seeing uh, chanting every saturday so that is how we did it and true to the teachings of swami ji yajna cannot be completed without dan and it is very auspicious to make donations at this period and that is what we did we invited few villagers 40 odd villagers the ladies had been invited and all the ladies were given a sari and along with the sari then you know uh, it it really became a conglomeration somebody had brought some tirgur somebody had brought something else somebody had brought katoras some so five six items were brought together some uh, fruits were given and that was offered to those people and the children of course they received some hygiene kits so this is how we celebrated makar sankranti and this also marks the beginning of the follow through activities of ssyrf 
last year as the satyam shatadi yogyag we tried to understand the teachings of gurudev starting from practicing yoga concluding with living yoga and the ability to surrender oneself at the feet of the guru but this was just information now we need to apply that and that is why the next level of satyam atma samvardhan and satyam atma samvardhan can be done in the way swami ji has taught and the way swami ji has taught is the way of serve love give you have to reach out to others we have been speaking about it for a month and a half now we are starting the activities and at least for this year the activities will be focused mainly in this region pali we our activities are well defined we have medical we have nutrition we have value based education we have vocational training and we have yoga ecology five activities now these activities are the medium for us for our atma samvartha all of you know about these five activities but how can i use these activities for my atma samvartha it has been said by a sufi saint if you want to master the mind keep doing something even if it is of an activity of no great value the saying goes as kuch na kuch to kiya kar pajama faad ke siya kar you keep doing something and if you don't have anything take out your trousers unstitch them and then stitch them back again what you are doing is not so important keep doing it and keep observing it that is important and of course within here if you just unstitch and stitch your pajamas you will be branded as a mad man or mad woman for that matter that is not what we are trying to do no it is not a futile mindless activity while doing that there is the activity which has to happen in the mind that is atma samvardhan awareness has to be there yoga karma sukaushalam perfection in action is yoga samatvam yoga uchyate many of us are yoga students and some of us are even yoga teachers but this is where we have to learn how to live those principles arjuna was also a scholar arjuna was not a stupid fellow all what lord krishna told him arjun has learnt that in his life and that is seen very clearly from the questions he has asked none of the questions are those of a novice they are all questions of an advanced practitioner but even then he even he a great scholar could not understand the significance it was here that krishna had to come in because it has to be put into practice how to put it into practice how do we make that change within ourselves we will use the activities of satyam sumiran yoga research foundation medical care nutrition and wellness and exercises pratibha samvardhan kshamata samvardhan paryavaran samvardhan these five activities these are our activities to be done in the spirit of karma yoga and seva but while doing this we have to observe ourselves we have to take a sankalpa which quality will i inculcate which quality will i get rid of the virtue i want the vice i want to get rid of and here the yogic diary is very important we have spoken about the yogic diary and some of you have been practicing it now is the time to take it to the next dimension when we become serious in the science of 
आत्म संवर्धन योगिक डायरी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल इट इज अ मिरर इट टेल्स अस हाउ आई वाज रिस्पोंडिंग व्हाट आर द थिंग्स व्हिच आर देयर वेयर इज माय अवेयरनेस इफ आई वांट टू मास्टर द माइंड व्हाट इज आत्म संवर्धन आफ्टर ऑल इफ यू एक्चुअली लुक एट इट आत्म संवर्धन मींस uplifting oneself uplifting oneself in the spiritual dimension in the yogic dimension means that uplifting the interface which connects the inner and the outer the mind is that interface and it is this interface which keeps on modulating what we perceive and how we respond we need to upgrade the software and the firmware there and that is atma samarthan you would have read yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha ha yoga is blocking the vrittis of the mind and then you connect with your true self all of us has, have read that but we don't know how to actually bring it into life we have been practicing asana and pranayam long time while that helps us but that is not sufficient we need to go deeper this is the time that we go deeper and how will we do this we will be doing this by two means whichever activity of these five is chosen and there are, see these are the five, five front line activities but for these front line activities to take place there are mid line and back end activities also these activities will be chosen and whatever we have to do we can do either in two ways either physically by being present on site or thanks to technology remotely so we have to decide when we are able to be present physically because uh, if we are present physically it makes a lot of difference but we have our own restraints and commitments and limitations does it mean that we can't do anything no we make use of technology and connect remotely and we undertake the activities all of you are experts you are in your own fields that is not what i need to explain to you and that is not also what we need to learn of course the external expertise is important and that has to be applied but what we need to learn is the management of the mind and therefore first thing which is done is karma yoga is choiceless activity you will not say i want to do this i am a expert in this area you might be deputed allocated an area you don't know anything about then it is your duty to start learning and while learning doing but when you are learning it does not mean that now you start troubling everybody oh i have to learn so you tell me this you tell me this you tell me this you tell me this i am exaggerating a little bit <clears throat> because the moment you see the point is we are i centric i want to learn so now the point that i want to learn becomes the most important thing here that is not important i need to do an activity and to do that activity i need to learn so the priority has shifted not i need to learn you the activity is the priority this is a very subtle thing and the mind plays many tricks this is what we need to practice it is in these places that the expertise of the mind needs to be developed the skills of teaching skills of medical care skills of technology skills of writing skills of all of that they are secondary and they are skills which can be acquired but what cannot be acquired is the training of the mind 
So that is the first aspect. Then the second aspect is, of course, to continually work and keep on observing that what I do is in the steps of perfection. Swamiji had once defined Karma Yoga as an activity which is done fast, quick, correct, accurate. Each of them are similar, but each of them has got a slight different shade. When you do those shades, you have to do an activity which is fast. Just suppose you are given a space to sweep. I have to do perfection in action, right? So I do very slowly. Oh, I will not let anything happen. So an area which should need, say, 10 minutes time of sweeping, you spend one hour sweeping because you want to do it perfectly. No, that is not karma yoga. It has to be done fast. It has to be done quick. You need to be mentally active. Okay, this is happening next when if you have to do any activity quickly, you need to be alert here and you need to be ready to see what is it which is going to come next. Anticipate and plan accordingly. It doesn't matter if it's sweeping. It doesn't matter if it is sabji chopping. It doesn't matter if it is cleaning the cloths. It doesn't matter what the activity is. The process is in the mind. And we are working with the mind. The external activity is totally immaterial. And that is why in the ashram, we are given toilet cleaning. We are given subject cleaning. We are given areas to clean. And we feel, oh, what are we doing? We are wasting time. I could have done so much better. What could you have done better? You could have done better by training the mind. That is why we are there. So this attitude has to be developed. I am explaining all these points and then we have to slowly start working towards bringing these points into action in our life and it is not easy. The moment we start feeling, oh yes, I have got it. Please note that now the real test is going to begin because the mind is a very dirty crook. It will cheat you. It will play tricks on you so much so that you won't even understand what is happening. So we have to be very alert. Fast, quick, correct. It might be the best thing that I bring a vacuum cleaner and vacuum. Oh, it will be done very neatly. No, but I have been told to do it with the jhadu. So I have to do with the jhadu. And it has to be done at the time which is allotted. It has to be done in... So whatever are the parameters which are set for correctness, they all need to be followed. And it has to be done accurately. When you have been given a square of say 50 feet by 50 feet, then you have to be sure that all those are cleared. Not that, oh, while you're sweeping, uh, a little bit here in the corner is left, a little bit in that corner is left, in the center there's a small spot left. No. Everything. And it has to be in all the areas correctly. That is important. So these are the methodologies which we have to train our mind into. External work is something which is needed so that the internal training can take place. In asan, you know that you might be rotating the wrist, but the impulse is coming in the mind. And when you have the awareness of the body, you are aligning one aspect of your being with the practice. Then when you align it with your breath and the mental activity and the different koshas, you are working on the koshas. But what is the practice which you are doing? rotating the wrist, which is a very simple practice. This is not the important practice. The important practice is in here. In the same way, now the similar principle is being expolated out into your day-to-day -day life. I am, I need to clean, uh, 
go into the kitchen and do sabji cutting. That can become karma yoga. How? That is what we have to learn. And of course, this is just the beginning. Beyond this, there is much more. What is much more? After you do asan, after you do pranayam, you sit and do antar maun. You do ajapa. You go deeper. You observe your mind. When I am cleaning, jhadu laga rahe hain. Aur man mein, dimag mein chal raha hai, yaar ye kya laga diya? Main to itna padha likha admi hu. I am externally doing an activity, perhaps with perfection. Correctly on all those four dimensions. But internally, continuously, the inner track is going on. Oh, come on. He doesn't know anything. Look, that person, he's not doing it correctly. Look, he, if he had done this way, it would have been per uh, perfect. That man, he's not doing it correctly. Why are you worrying about those? Worry about yourself. My mind is told not to go there and focus here. But my mind is focusing elsewhere. Just like a child. You tell the child, don't go near the stove. It, that's the place it is going to go. Your mind is like a child. You tell him, no, focus here, he will do everything else. You have to train the mind. So when you are sweeping and the mind goes, tell them, no, not there, come back here. No, not there, come back here. No, not there, come back here. That is what yoga is. That is what karma yoga is. And of course, this way there are more steps. This is what we have to do. And how much can you do? You have already indicated. You can do maybe a minimum of 2 hours a week, maximum of 20 hours a week, whatever is the number you give. That number is an indicative number. It is a commitment which you are making to yourself. And during that period, we need to practice this. This is what Atma Samvardhan is all about. And this Atma Samvardhan can be brought about by using any of these activities related to the Seva activities of SSYRF. You can use it through the mental practices and step by step move ahead. And you will see, the more you put in, we receive a hundred thousand times more. It depends how much we put in. And we have to be perseverant. Not that, oh, I have put in one hour. Now let me give me get hundred hours. No, it doesn't work that way. That mathematics doesn't work here. You have to keep doing it. Keep doing it. And forget about the results. I am doing it. To win. I am doing it to go beyond the mind. But that is not what I have to keep thinking while I am doing it. While I am doing it, you forget everything else. Focus only on the activity which is at hand. Then, when the purification starts and takes place, then automatically, without us knowing, things come up. I, I, I will give you an example. There was a person in the ashram who used to take care of the accommodation. And what was the accommodation really doing? She had to do toilet cleaning the whole day. People would come, stay there for a day or two or five days or whatever and then they will go back the room has to be cleaned. The toilet has to be cleaned. And this person who was almost in charge, you can say, of accommodation, her duty was to do toilet cleaning the whole day. She was not spending time sitting in khyan and meditating. No. She had to do toilet cleaning. And it is not that only toilet cleaning was being done. Along with toilet cleaning, she had to ma manage the workers who were also with her. 
I'm just giving one example. Everybody has to face similar situations. And then to get, I have to I have a deadline. Chaitra Navratri is approaching. 500 people are expected for Chaitra Navratri. I need to get 10 buildings done so that they are ready. I'm just giving some figures. And I have only one month left. And toilet cleaning is not the only thing which I have to do. I have to do many other things also. So I am at a pressure to make things happen and the time allotted is less. Then that in itself is a challenge. Beyond that, the challenge is just as I have been allotted toilet cleaning, another I has been allotted some other activity, third activity, fourth activity, fifth activity, sixth activity. And each person is in a hurry to complete the duty because that it has to be completed because Swamiji has told us. Now, I feel my job is the highest priority. Other person feels his job is the highest priority. And there is a tension which comes in because always there, there is a interplay of resources and when there is an interplay of resources, there is interaction, then the interactions can be positive or negative. And when these interactions start, my pressure builds up, I have to do something, but there is a problem which comes up. Then the innermost quirks, samskaras start coming up at the time when you don't realize it at all. That is the time which we have to catch. When you catch that moment and you are aware at that point of time, then suddenly you realize, oh, there are so many things within me. And then you use the yogic practices to work on them and get rid of them. Not by sitting and closing your eyes, but by keeping your eyes open, focusing your mind and work at hand, not have that and managing. It's a dynamic process. It can't be explained and it is not cut out. Every person has a slight different pr process that need, that is what needs training and tailoring. But when this person does toilet cleaning for years together, a date comes without the knowledge of this person that the person starts intuitively knowing, oh, this, this person is going to happen. Oh, something like this is going to happen. Oh, something like that is going to happen. It has not happened externally. Nobody has sent an email that I am coming. But this person gets an intuition. Oh, this person might turn up. Oh, that might happen. That person has not done any sadhana. But the higher faculties automatically open up. And I am not giving a hypothetical example. It is an example of a real person who has experienced this. And many people have experienced this. But this very example is of a real person. So, this is what we have to work towards. And this, Swamiji says, is the reason why he was able to spread the message of yoga all throughout the world. In a short period of 25 years, Swamiji spoke of yoga and what Swamiji spoke then reverberates even today. Why? Not because he had, he had not studied yoga. We all know this. All during those 12 years when Swamiji was in, Rik in Rishikesh, at that time, Swamiji did not sit down and meditate. Swamiji was doing cooking. He was doing administration. He was uh, doing uh, press work. He was doing everything under the sun. 22 hours of 24 hours, he had pushed himself into seva. He had no time for anything else. But that prepared him so much that when his guru called him, and told, Jao, Yog Sikhao. He was so ready that within five minutes, the Guru was able to transmit everything. 
But for that, he needed to work on himself for 12 long years. This is what we are working towards. We are not working towards an activity to help poor children or poor people. No. That it is happening is the part of instead of doing pajama phad ke siya kar, we are doing something which is a need for other people. That we will come to a, on a later dimension. Just now we are looking in here. My mind, how does it function? How can I improve myself? What can I do so that it improves? I have to interact with multiple people. There are multiple things. There are many things which I don't know. I will not be told. I am not important. Work is important. Does not mean... I. You see what happens is first I have got a superiority complex. Oh, I am the most important person. I am the best person. I am doing this. I am doing that. I am doing that. This is the tendency of the mind. Then you get some nudges here and there, blows here and there, and then you start going into inferiority complex. Oh no, I can't do it. I am a bad person. Oh, everybody thinks bad about me. All those negativities come in. The inferiority complex. No. Neither superiority nor inferiority. No complexes. Just using the mind to do what is needed. You do what is needed, what is told and step out. You have just like an actor who puts on a mask, does an acting, leaves the role and walks away. After the actor has completed acting, he does not continue portrayal of the acting in his or her real life. If that happens, it is inappropriate and that is the problem in our life. I have been a big officer, so I am used to behave, you know, people behaving with me in a specific manner. And after I have stepped out of office, I still expect people behaving to me in the same manner. No, that is not what we do. I have been given a duty which is hmm, no important, very mi minor regulated back-end duty. Or I have been given a duty which is on the forefront. How does my mind react to that? We need to observe it. The yogic diary is meant for this. So this is how we have to work Step by step, step by step, step by step, moving ahead and making a change, a qualitative, distinct, systematic change within ourselves. Each of one has inherent qualities. Each of one has inherent drawbacks. I need to first discover what they are and then relentlessly work towards Increasing my qualities and decreasing my limitations. That is my path. To be able to do this, you need a medium outside. The seva outside is the medium for improvement inside. This is the basis. And that is why the motto, you can say, reach out to connect within. I am inside. I am the immortal soul. I am this, that, the other. We all think that. But we are not able to connect to that. It's only intellectual. I, not, I cannot experience that. If I want to experience that, then the way is to reach out. Because even in that out, person is the immortal soul. And through that, you can connect with him. How? This is the way. And that is what we will be starting. And this was the Sankalpa which we took yesterday in yesterday's program. Some of you were present. Some of you were not able to come. Does not matter. We have already taken the Sankalpa. And now we have to start walking that path. Some of you have already filled up the Google, Google form. Those of you who haven't should do it at the earliest. And now the activities which we'll be starting will be the medical care activity, 
I plan to do regular OPD in some places in Pali. Can you believe that in that place, a group of uh, Pali is a very important temple town, temple village, I must say. And thousands and thousands of people come there every day. But in that entire area, there is no medical care facility available. There is no private MBBS doctor there. Anything happens to people, they have to immediately go out. Anything which is beyond <clears throat> cough, cold, fever. This is the place where seva is needed. And therefore, I have decided that I will be undertaking medical care once a month in one place. And that way, there is a structure which I have come upon. That will be done. Second activity. I had been to a village on Saturday. The village comprises of about two and a half, three thousand people. And of those three thousand people, there are at least 150 to 200 children in the age of 150, uh, sorry, of uh, 20 to 30 who are educated, but they are sitting at home. They don't have any work to do. Employment is a big problem. Because perhaps they have been educated into skills which don't give them employment. This is not the time to, uh, you know, go into debates of what education should be given. We are too small fry for that. But to work towards shamata samordhan, appropriate vocational training so that people can make their living. The third activity, which it being a rural area, the yogic eco-farming activity will be a major practice. So these are the major areas which will be taken up. And eventually, I am sure, very soon, the Pratibha Samvardhan activity will also come in. So that is what the activities are. You can decide what is the duration you can give in the week. Is it remote? Is it on site? You can decide initially. You indicate what is your preferred area you would like to work in. Would you like to be in Arogya Seva? Would you like to be in nutrition? Would you like to be in whichever areas? Or would you like to help in the back end activities, in the planning, in the preparation, in the wind up, in the reporting? There are back end activities also. There are some people who would not like to be in front forefront they are happier behind would you like that your choice indicate of course your choice can not always be met but to begin with i will allow that to be a priority for you so that you feel comfortable and then remember whichever area you are there eventually you will be rotated around from suppose you are in Arogya Seva, you might be given in a different area. You might be given in a third area. At appropriate times, I will be doing that rotation. So don't get too stuck up on one area. No, no, no. I had said I am interested in this. No, that is just, you know, the entry point. And once you have entered, then the whole rotation will take place because we don't want to be a lopsided personality. We want to be an all-rounded expanded personality. So this is what we will be doing from now onwards and just as the Satyam Shatabdi Yog Yag was a year-long activity, this is also going to be an year-long activity, maybe multiple year activity, we don't know. But that is how we will go deeper and try and implement those changes, those yogic principles in our life. हरि ओम तत्सत नमो नारायण जय हो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स एनी क्वेश्चंस एनीथिंग व्हिच यू आर नॉट क्लियर अबाउट यू कैन आस्क अदरवाइज यू कैन कंक्लूड तो अभी
जी आई जस्ट लिसन दैट देर आर ट्वेंटी थर्टी पीपल एजुकेटेड दे हैव अक्वायर सम स्कूल एजुकेशन I was just thinking what way I can do something for them. I am not very clear, but is possible. But some of being an engineer, whether I can give some knowledge of course. in that in that field or. depending upon yes the Th person who are in educated in yes way. yes yes certainly we can, you know uh, there are so many options which are open because we are not stuck up on doing one thing or the other or the third we are in, uh, stuck up on helping those people so therefore whatever your abilities are will always be most welcome and we will we will see how it can be fitted properly that is a uh, you know process but it can be done only thing personal presence is required which is some problem not always not always needed you see not always needed the, the, the that can be worked through thanks to technology most of those villages they have got the internet facility is not you know the uh, mobile networking is not so good over there but most of them, they have got the wifi lines which are there so with the wifi lines broadband is there so in the same way as we are having a zoom meeting we can have a zoom meeting there you know so how to go about Th that is a challenge but that is what we have to you know overcome and that is the fun of the whole thing if everything was uh, laid out nicely and properly to usme koi maza hi nahi tha जब कुछ है नहीं उसमें से पैदा करना उसी में तो मजा है तो इसी द ओनली थिंग नीडेड इज द डिजायर टू वांट टू डू एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स स्टेप बाय स्टेप विल कम इन एंड अनदर थिंग व्हाट वीट कैन बी डन सम डे आई वुड लाइक टू कम टू योर आश्रम Maybe it can be possible, and then for some time we can discuss the things. So we can be possible. Oh yes, oh yes. We 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 will work it out. We will work it out. Only thing once I will have to personally sit with you. Ha ha. करेंगे ना. We 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 will make that happen. See, you are in Thane. Ha. Huh? Thane is not in uh, US of A, or it is not in Australia. तो उसमें क्या है ऑर्गेनाइज तो करना बहुत आसान है अमेरिका से जब लोग वहां आ सकते हैं तो बैठाने से आने में क्या दिक्कत है पीपल ट्रैवल मेक इट हैपन डोंट वरी ठीक है बदलापुर रास्ता तो निकलना शुरू हो गया सी The way is not so difficult. The way only the desire to start do it is needed, and then the way starts coming in. Chalye, me me a har kaka. Chalye. So let us uh, conclude now, and uh, Swami ji. Yes. Na, I request करना चाहती हूँ कि मैं मैंने Yes. I think you have got muted, Nivedita. Nivedita, you have got muted. I think in the meanwhile, I can stop the recording. <laughs>